Hello everyone and welcome back. It's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com. Today we're going to be opening up the dollar bead box and bag subscriptions for April 2023. This is a fun monthly box to get, especially if you like check glass and you like to sample different types of beads and items particularly that you can get more of because by being a subscriber, you get access to their full shop where you can pick up most of these items plus lots more for just a dollar each. I'll leave the link for this subscription right down below the video and there you can find all the information you need about signing up, the cost, and those sorts of details. This one runs close to the $20-ish price point for just the box itself and that varies a little bit depending on how long you sign up. The dollar bead bag is an additional $8 a month add-on where you get eight strands of four millimeter and three millimeter fire polish beads. And that's something you can choose to supplement your box subscription with. And that's typically located on the top of our package. So let's go ahead and get into this. And there's our dollar bead bag. You can see it's got our contents listed there, our four different colors that we'll see in each of the categories. And as it says, these strands will be available to reorder if you'd like any more of them for just a dollar each through the month of May. So let's take a look at our strands this month so we can see these goodies up close. And starting out with our three millimeter strands, we have the Navy Nebulous Luster with that opaque royal blue background that's darkened up a bit with that luster coating that adds a lot of copper shimmer to the surface of the beads, but still lets most of that blue color show through. The second strand is in matte copper, and it's always great to get a strand in a neutral metallic. You can pair those with so many things. And these would especially look good with those navy nebulous luster because the copper would pick up the hints of copper in the coating that's on top of the blue. The third strand is another neutral in matte black. Pretty straightforward there, just the black opaque glass. But instead of having the shiny and glossy coating, we have this one in the matte finish to change things up a little bit. And then for strand number four, you could get two different ones. It looks like I think this one is the matte vintage blue zircon mix. That's what I'm going with. I am seeing some hints of blue metallic on this really interesting mixed strand that has a lot of antique gold, but there's also some hints of pink and copper in this one as well. This being another one you could pair both with the blue and the copper strands or any of these would go together well, actually. And then next we have our four strands of four millimeter fire polish beads. And I figured I'd just go ahead and show these all together. They really look nice and complement each other in those two different shades of blue, the pale golden yellow, and also that other strand that matches our three millimeter strand in what I believe to be the matte vintage blue zircon mix. But on the left, we have the opaque sky blue with that bright and lighter shade. And then next we have the jonquil, which is in the transparent glass and just that very pale tone of yellow, which like I said, is pretty golden, mixing well with the gold metallic that we see on that last strand. And then in the third one, we have the opaque cobalt, that one being just a little bit lighter than the navy nebulous luster we took a look at first in the smaller size. Another vibrant but darker shade of blue than the sky blue. And then, of course, there's our last strand that matches the one in our other set. Moving that around a little bit so you can see the different colors that show up subtly on the surface, depending on how these beads are turned. And for that last one in the four millimeter size, there was another option for that as well. So it could vary from one box to another. And that wraps it up for the dollar bead bag. Like I said, that's an $8 a month optional add-on that you can get in addition to your box. And lately there's been a lot of color coordination between these bags and also what's in the box. So it has been acting as a great way to complement and supplement the beads that you find in the main subscription. Let's bring back our box and take a peek in here.
It says that the box pulled together a lot of blue and copper, which appears to be a bit of a happy accident. So it sounds like those will go well with our strands from the bag. They have a what's new section talking about some of the things you can find that are new and exciting at their main store and then all their contact information below that. Flipping this over, we have our list of everything we're about to take a look at, including the strands, which are lined up on the top, and then our additional items, which we will find in the bags. So let's just peek in here under our tissue paper. And there's a sneak peek at our box contents. It does look like we've got lots of blue and copper going on, which I happen to think is a great combination. So I'm glad to see that. It's also different from what we've received recently. And to kick it off, we'll start out by checking out our strand section. And we actually have three strands of the six millimeter size round faceted check fire polish beads. So I figured I'd show these strands together. They each have 20 pieces included. And the first two are really cool because they have that copper lining that you can just barely see through the blue colored glass. A little bit more so on the first strand, that's called sapphire copper lined. So you can see that little bit of a line of reflection lining the whole area. The second strand is called the sapphire copper lined Marea. That you can just barely see the copper lining and then it's a bit of a half and half type of mixture where parts of the beads have that metallic marea coating, which brings in a lot of that bright gold and also some copper and some of those warmer metallic tones, which contrast with that cooler shade of blue. And number three is the matte copper. So this matches the three millimeter strand we saw earlier, this time just in the larger size and having that softer, more toned down finish making it a little bit less reflective. And now we're looking at the four millimeter check glass drucks in blue aqua marble. So there's some slight variations here on the surface of the bead. You can see they do have that sort of a marbleized appearance and there's some aqua pressed glass rounds showing up, but just a few of those in this sea of the rich deep blue that make up the bulk of this one. We're now checking out the pyramid beads in the six millimeter size. The color is called Jet Hematite. There's 20 pieces on this one. There were 50 on the strand with the Drux. And as you can see with this pyramid shape, they are like what it says, except the top is flattened out just a bit. And they have the hole running up and down through the center. Strand number six contains the three millimeter Jet AB glass druck beads or pressed rounds and there's 50 pieces on this one with a few pops of that AB coating giving the colorful metallic shine that appears on parts of these beads. The majority, however, of what we see is in that jet black opaque and these give us a smaller size to add to our strand palette for this month's selection. And then our final strand contains eight pieces of the 12 by 14 check glass starburst in aqua with the jet wash. So as it says, we have this aqua colored transparent glass and the black wash that is bringing out those pressed details in that starburst design that shows up on both sides of these beads with the hole going up and down through the length. And our next section is full of additional items that are in these little bags where we're going to see some additional check glass shapes, sometimes gemstone varieties, the occasional pendant or focal piece, metallic component finding, stringy material, and the list goes on. We'll start out with our first bag in the section containing two of the 12 to 14 millimeter lapis ovals. And these are polished beautifully. They've got a really smooth feel and glossy shine. And that helps the striations that we see in these lapis beads really stand out 
those lighter shades of neutral on the deep blue, all these being a little bit different and having the hole there that runs up and down through the length of these ovals, these could be quickly incorporated into a new pair of earrings. We follow that up with the 10 millimeter blue with travertine check glass square beads. There's eight pieces inside. Some more lovely blue beads. The table cut really framed out well with the travertine finish that is darker and more stone-like around the edges of these squares. And it's got the hole that's centrally located there. Both of the sides front and back having the bold and vibrant blue with some hints of striations if you're looking at them up close. And that darker mottled olive green finish surrounding those brighter areas. Our third bag contains 15 of the 5mm check glass cube beads in jet. And we have yet another shape of check glass in a versatile size and shape and color. These are just the opaque black, which could go with just about anything, but also with the palette that they've pulled together here. Some of these black beads, I think, looking really nice with those aqua starburst ovals. In bag four, we have two pieces of the check glass meteorites. These are a 13 millimeter size in etched black with aqua. Not only do these have that more interesting sort of organic shape, but the aqua that shows up on the surface gives these a similar appearance to verdigris that you see on copper, that greenish color that shows up when it's aged. This though being in that brighter blue, but I think giving these meteorite beads an aged appearance also. For one of our additional items, we have a toggle clasp. This is in antique copper plating and it's about 12 millimeters in size. It's actually quite dainty. Here is a closer look at our small and simple copper colored toggle. This type of thing we see in addition with mostly beads in the subscription. And I like the fact that we're getting some copper in our finding, which relates well with the copper that we're seeing popping up in some of these strands. Next up, we have four pieces of the check striped triangles in a 14 millimeter size, and the color combination is crystal and blue. And these really take me back. I want to say these came in my very first dollar bead box that I ever had gotten. And I don't think I've seen them since then. They have this lovely blue that shows up looking sort of suspended in that wavy stripe formation, along with the crystal clear glass. All of them being a little bit different, how those wavy stripes are settling in there. And you can see the whole location through that transparent glass going up and down these triangles from the base and out through the pointed top. And now we have two pieces of the check glass pine cones. These are a larger 12 by 25 millimeter size, color combination being the smoky topaz with silver wash. I figured I'd hold one of these up to the light because they do let some pass through, which is quite beautiful with the press design and wavy surface that we see. That light silver wash tracing out some of those details for us. And these being pretty substantial in size, I could even see one of these holding its own if used in a pendant configuration, maybe something else on top of it. And these would look really nice with the blue and also the copper, that topaz being another warm neutral shade that's just a little bit more toned down than the brighter copper. Next up, we have a bag containing six pieces of the 7 by 16 millimeter check glass two hole crescent beads in copper half vitriol. So 
So that's a different combination right there. You have your shiny metallic bright copper on one side, and then on the other you have the vitriol coating with its reflective sort of greens and pinkish purple, looking a little bit backlit and very glossy along with the clear glass on that side. And once in a while we'll see some of these interesting two hole shapes pop up. These have that slight curve with a hole on either end. And I just have them turned in different ways so you can see how they look on both sides. And I don't really need to take these out, but we also have included 25 pieces of the 5mm Pewter Daisy Spacer beads in the antique copper color. Classic Daisy Spacers, this time just being in a color that matches some of our other beads and also that copper toggle clasp. Next is a pair of two of the 14 millimeter check glass button beads in white with satin taupe. We see this shape pretty often and they come in so many different combinations of colors and finishes, always having that swirly press design on both sides and a hole running up through the center of these flat round beads and these having that light metallic wash showing up in the pressed areas, the rest of these beads being a neutral opaque white. And our last item in this section is a bag containing the 14 millimeter Swarovski 5840 pearl and it says the color varies. There's one piece included. And the one I received is in this shifting greenish purple combination. It also has a more organic shape being slightly irregular. And of course, having that quality feel like we expect from Swarovski, which we don't see that often anymore. It's got the crystal core that adds the weight to these beads, making them feel more realistic to freshwater pearls. And then the coating that's thick and smooth and intact. And while that's everything for our bead box and additional items, we do have a bonus item listed at the bottom. We again have a Czech glass bead mix. It's a 20 gram bag in the matte copper variety. And we've been seeing these pop up in the last few dollar bead boxes in different color combinations. And what's nice about these is they do offer additional shapes to play around with and work into some of your bead box contents. If you were wanting to incorporate some of these items together and create some finished pieces with just what you receive in your subscription package, it's also a higher quality mix, everything in here being the Czech glass. And for most everything, you're gonna get more than one of each shape. Of course, that will vary a little bit from bag to bag. So what I'll do now is I will separate these out and sort them so we can get a better idea of what's included in this mix and how they add to the subscription contents. And there's the mix sorted out so you can see we get 12 additional shapes inside of that bag, most of which having multiples, just that cube in the rectangular shape down there not having a pair in my bag. But a good number of those two hole bibo beads, we have our different shapes of spikes. Also, some of those triangles, which are the same shape as the jet hematite triangles that we received in this strand. So maybe those would be a good thing to put together somehow. We also have a few of the two hole chili beads, some daggers, wavy discs, and it does look like we've got one of the larger round in my bag too. But you can see how added to our contents of additional items and strands, this gives us a lot more copper to play with and some other unique shapes of check glass on and beyond what we normally expect. So that wraps it up for the April 2023 dollar bead box and bag. If you like check glass and you like to sample all different types of things, including the occasional multi-hole bead, this may be a fun box for you, with the big perk being that you can go back to their shop and order all of these things for just a dollar a piece or per small bag of items that we took a look at. They're a great source of the check glass fire polish bead strands in particular, and a really great price being a dollar a piece, most of those being quite a bit pricier anywhere else. In the past, we didn't have a whole lot of color coordination, but like I said, recently we've been seeing more of a theme to the color palette. 
I happen to really like that because if you're somebody who wants to make things directly from the contents that you receive, it's a little bit easier to do that. You don't have to bring in a whole lot of other things if you just want to play around with some of these new items. So feel free to share your thoughts down below. Let me know if you have a favorite item here or anything else you'd like to say. I like to share these unboxings on a regular basis to enjoy the fun of these subscriptions, but also give you a close-up peek at what's included. So if you've been on the fence or you're not sure which type of box is right for you, hopefully this helps you to see what types of things you can expect and if this one speaks to you. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel while you're here because I'd love to have you back. And feel free to share it wherever you like. That's all I have for now. Thank you all so much for being here. I will see you all again real soon. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. And as always, happy beating. Happy beating.